Stick with me, because I'm going to show you some of the most amazing metal art and wood art you've ever seen. This store is located in Bethlehem, New Hampshire, and we found it quite by accident. We were coming back from Pork Fest and drove by this and stopped because it was so amazing up front. Just take a look at some of this artwork and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we were just driving through this small town in the middle of nowhere and Kate saw these statues out front of this shop. So we stopped the car, came back around to get a closer look and I was just blown away by the level of intricacy in this metal art. Just check some of these sculptures out. Having a little background in sculpture work myself, I really have to appreciate the countless hours that must have gone into this. I mean, to think about how to get all this scrap metal to look good and the material they used and where to put chains and clocks and gears and cogs and make it all work and hammer it out. It just blows me away. This moose is incredible. And this alien was hidden in the background. Went over and take a good look at him. The intricacy on this is amazing as well. I mean, he's even got the tail and the claws crazy and of course you can't have alien without predator now so they have a predator out front on the porch too look at this thing unbelievable the transformer takes center stage and he's got to be at least 12 feet high just huge I don't even know how you make something this big I think he's Optimus Prime They also had these cool handmade wind chimes. I love them. Being New Hampshire, you also have to have a bear. This bear was a good 10 feet high. He was standing on his haunches. And he welcomes you into the ice cream shop they have there. That's right, there's an ice cream shop in the store. So we went into the ice cream shop to see what that was all about, because you don't expect that in a sculpture store, but check out this bar. All the work that must have went into that. It's amazing. Although I didn't try the ice cream, uh, I couldn't help but notice this sign. We finally worked our way to the part of the store where the displays were actually at. It was kind of laid out like a art gallery. What was amazing was there was also a ton of unbelievable woodwork I didn't even know about. So, the metalwork is actually displayed on this amazing woodwork, too. I had to know more about this place, so I finally tracked down the owner and got the skinny of what's going on. Why is such an unusual shop in a little town in the middle of nowhere? Hello, uh, my name is Robin Rambeck. This is in Welcome to Indian Brook Trading Company. It is a store owned by my ex-husband Gary and my daughter Mamie Rambeck. Gary lives in Thailand from November to May. Our daughter Mamie meets him in February. They go shopping. They return in May with a 50-foot container full of all of the materials you see behind me. In northern Thailand, there's an area called Chiang Mai, which is made up of a bunch of different villages. And in the villages, each little village does its, its industry, whether it's the metal, the wood, or our little our whirly gigs and wind chimes. Uh, they go to each village, purchase what they want, 10 of this, 4 of that, and then they, the container gets packed. It gets brokered from Chiang Mai on a boat to, through the Panama Canal to Boston, where we broker it through customs, put it on an 18-wheeler, bring it here. They accommodate us with the metal by making it accessible. The arms, heads, and legs, tails, noses, whatever comes off, we uh, put it all back, reassemble once it's here set it up and offer it for all to see. Is everything for sale, like anything up front or the big statues? Everything's for sale. The only things that are not are is, our, is Gary's airplane collection, the snake on the wall, and this loud whiskey. 
So I went back to searching around the store and asked her to show me around a little bit. And of course, I had to stop at the Terminator, the T-1000. But what's amazing about these models is they come apart, like she said, so you could move them. But some of the limbs move. So like the Terminator here, he can actually articulate his gun and uh, other parts. Check it out. Spin him around. Be back. Completely turn, rotates. Can you spin again? He's yeah. got spins his hands open. He says, I'll be back. <laughs> Every nook and cranny of this place is filled with something. You could literally spend hours here looking at all the artwork. It just goes on and on. The amount of crafting hours that go into just one piece is pretty unbelievable and she's got hundreds of pieces of metal art and wood art everywhere. I guess Kong still hasn't learned his lesson because beauty killed the beast. It's not surprising that some of the really big pieces of metal artwork cost anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars so they have smaller pieces that you can take home for much less money these are just a couple hundred bucks but again the amount of intricacy and the time that it takes to make one of these things is incredible I mean any artist probably understands the amount of blood sweat and tears that go into just one piece If you got enough time, you can actually have stuff custom ordered and brought in for you. Like this bear table was a custom piece. The store has a variety of different size pieces, as well as different themes like planes and nautical themes and going around the globe. It's all here. I had never even heard of the town of Bethlehem until we just randomly stumbled across this store. So I asked the store owner to tell me more about the town of Bethlehem and how this all started here. So the rich and famous would come here, they would come here by rail uh, on the Boston Main Railway out of Boston to North Conway to here. We have old depots still available in town. In these days, what has it kind of evolved into? Is it more? Uh, tourist hiking, fishing, swimming, and in in, uh, mountain climbing in the summer. Uh, fall is fo foliage. The leaves are beautiful here in mid-September. The winter is, of course, skiing. Snowmobiling cross country. So you still get one big boost of uh, sales around uh, the leafer season when people come in for the leaves. Yep. That's a big yes. time. Uh -huh. right. And then we man the phones, the email, and the, the website and sell all through the Christmas season as well for holiday. There was just so much to see here at this store. Uh, next time I'll have to make more time because we just didn't plan enough time to go through all the knickknacks hidden everywhere. There's so many like pieces of amazing little woodwork and tchotchkes everywhere that you really need to make this a destination and stop and take your time. If you're planning on coming to northern New Hampshire, you definitely want to put this on your agenda. Give yourself enough time to look around and bring your camera. If you really appreciate metal and wood art, you'll be real sorry if you miss this place. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Also give this a thumbs up, a like, a share, or if you have something to add, remember to comment below. Thanks. Also, don't forget to stop by terranlupo.com. I have up videos that you can't see anywhere else. Currently, I have one on carnivorous plants and also how to make your own mead. All you have to do is go over and sign up at terranlupo.com and all that's free.